Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. This week's Parsha is Parsha's Kisisa, and this week's Parsha is also the Parsha of Coronavirus. So just to give a message on both of them, it's hard to know why Hashem does something when He does something. And I don't know if you've ever heard the expression Monday morning quarterback, but Monday morning quarterback is those quarterbacks that figured out on Monday morning what they should have done Sunday afternoon during the game. I mean, during the game on Sunday, they were in this panic, or they made the wrong and they made the wrong move, the wrong decision, and it cost them. They cost them the game. They lost the game because of that decision. Monday morning, as they're reviewing the tape, I should have done this. I should have done that. The question is, us. We're right now. We're in the middle of the game. Right now, it's Sunday afternoon for us, and we're not really sure what to do, and if we're going to make the right decision. And who who's the good quarterback? The good quarterback are those that good, good, those that give good advice. And for us, that's our Torah sages. Our Torah sages, they're able to see things in a clear light, even while all the panic is happening around us. Now, definitely not one of those. However, I can share with you something that's very important that seems to be a message across the board. And that is, to panic and worry is another way of saying Hashem doesn't really exist. There's no, there's no real plan here. Things are just haphazard. Nothing is haphazard. Everything has a plan for whatever reason. We may not know the plan right now, but from history, we see that many things that happened to the Jewish people were lessons for them to learn at the time that they, that they should have studied it. And so therefore, one of the lessons that are going on right now is that everybody's told to be at home. To be at home, quarantine yourselves, stay indoors, don't have too much contact. And one of the lessons could be quite obvious. How many people don't spend enough time with their family? How many people are out at night in places where they shouldn't be, God forbid, out too late at work even, too much time away? Maybe Hashem wants us to hit the reset button on our family life. And it's, I can't say, but one thing I just want to get back to before, that I said before, is, is that to panic is definitely not the way to go. You can take precautions, you should take precautions. Because that is also a Torah maxim to do that. You have to be careful. But being careful and being worried and going all out and saying, oh, everything is, is gone and, and we, there's nothing to do and we're, we're stuck and I don't know what to do. And it's not good. Now, it's not good for now. It's not good for your health and it's not good in your relationship with Hashem. And one of the things that also people are like worried that now there's not going to be as much Torah study because some schools are closing down. You can still study Torah. And you can still listen to this video, and I'm going to share with you something on the parasha. Maybe with this, it'll be a merit for everybody, not just what I'm saying, but anybody who says anything on the parasha. So in this week's parasha, the sin of the golden calf, after the, as when Moses saw what the Jewish people were doing, he took the two tablets that he just received, and he threw them down. He threw them down at the bottom of the mountains, and they smashed over there. And the Medrash tells us that at that time, a change in reality took place for the Jewish people. Had the people accepted the first two of the tablets, they would have learned whatever they would have learned, they would have remembered forever. When Moses broke those two tablets, a new reality set in that Torah was going to be much harder to acquire. And a person was going to have to toil for it, and they were going to have to have forgetfulness, and that sets in, and there would be oppression, and there would be many difficulties against learning Torah. And so therefore, the Jewish people now found themselves in a new situation, a new situation on how to acquire Torah. And there's a couple of reasons why Hashem did that. But one of the reasons is, is that you certainly value something so much more when you have to toil and then work for it. And when it's hard and when it's difficult, and when you have outside influences telling you not to do it, whether it's bad people, whether it's bad neighbors, whether it's bad ideals, or whether it's even a virus that's sp spreading around town and telling you not to learn, not to study, and be all worried, like we were saying before, but no, this is part of it. This is all part of the plan, at least one parcel of the plan, one little cog on the wheel of the plan. But certainly it's important. The Torah is, what's, what, is what protects us as Jewish people. And Hashem wants us to strengthen our Torah. Certainly, that is our strength. That is that everything starts and ends with over there, as we've spoken many times in the past. So let's Make a little resolve over here. For the next week, for the next two weeks, we're going to strengthen ourselves in our Torah observance and our mitzvah observance. And with that, that that is the merit. What else? What, else, what other kind of merit should we have? We don't put our trust in other people. We don't just put our trust in armies or the scientists. They certainly help, but ultimately, our trust comes from it comes from 
it comes. Our trust is only in Hashem. Our trust is our, our, our Hashem will save us. And that's the only way to go. And if we keep doing that and we, and we show Hashem that everything is up to Him and we give up to Him, whatever His, His will is, so that will certainly be a merit for us as well. Have a great Shabbos. Enjoy. Enjoy your family even more so. Take care.